a tour player analysis and I think with the changes that Jason Day has gone through in his swing in a year it's it's pretty phenomenal um, one of the things I want you to keep in mind here is as well he's changed the swing this much in a year and um, beaten hundreds of balls a day I'm sure um, so it is kind of get the message across that it does take time for swing changes to become natural and for them to, to kind of come to to fruition it takes time so um, I'll show you these things it's just my thoughts on on the changes he's made and what I see the main things that I see from it from the setup first of all he's obviously been working out his legs <laughs> by the looks of things but when you look from a posture standpoint I think something we can see is if we draw a line up from the back side up the back and from here back side up the back I think we can see he's allowing his upper body sort of from his middle of his back to head to kind of hang a little bit more naturally um, maybe not just to try to be as textbook posture as we would have been taught years ago to keep the, everything perfectly straight um, so I like that I think it looks a lot more natural and comfortable the other thing now is we take it into the swing I'm gonna skip through the sort of back swing part take it to the top of the of the backswing so here and then top of the backswing on this one so a couple of really cool things the club is definitely a lot deeper in the backswing form and um, i think most notably we can see the two things the shaft and where it points and the club face angle as well so as i take it into a bit more of a close-up on both of these couple of things to note he is not at parallel if he was at parallel the club you know in theory should point down the target line or down his toe line but what we can see is he's short of parallel looks a lot more kind of laid off i think if that club travels that little bit further which he doesn't need to but that would point down the line or slightly left the target which is a far nicer position with the club face where it is and i'll talk about that in a second this one to me being short of parallel is a little bit actually across the line if that continued on so it's pretty interesting he's, he's changed that so deeper with the hands and the shaft essentially more shallow so as we look at this part the club face I think this is a big one so we know club face is very important so we look at the leading edge there versus leading edge here we can see the one on the right pointing a lot more towards the sky so in essence that is a stronger club face which helps him later on here i think this is where really really is good and i'm excited to see how this all goes for him so yeah and that's the other thing i think he's 115th in the world at the moment and uh, get a run from 2015-16 at world number one for 51 consecutive weeks so pretty pretty good run that's up there was one of the, the longest he fell away a bit with injury and stuff to 115 so it'd be cool to see him come back and do that so from here I want you to notice as he comes down on the left we will see in this position p5 which is left arm parallel to the ground we see the shaft in a very steep position here so it's above his right shoulder okay and well above his forearm we we'll get to that in a moment and as he comes down into the same position p5 here we can see that the shaft is now perfectly through his right bicep so that shaft is shallowing a lot better than he would have done in the past okay so from there i think that's brilliant as we take this left one on down the shaft continues to stay steep never gets down onto that right forearm here we'll see uh, continues to shallow the stronger face is helping in here gets down onto the right elbow travels down the right forearm into this lovely position where the club is just behind the hands Let me show you here so just behind the hands lovely and also a far nicer club face where it's kind of matching the spine that bit better um in that position so you see on the left as i said it never gets shallow enough stays steep shaft gets very steep and on the way through which is which is pretty incredible something i struggle with um 
I wish I struggled to the extent he struggled with it, mind you, but <laughs> still. So when we look at zooming in on his right hand, now this is a sort of compensation for things that have gone on before in the swing. I play this back and through, you can see how the right hand actually comes off the club. If we had a better view of that, you would see that there would be a gap created in between his glove and right hand. And when you look also then at the amount of closure on the club face. So at this point, these these should be matching club face and spine. As he stays in side bend, they should match that little bit better. Um, watch what he does over on this side, which he can do now because he's coming down with the face a lot stronger, shaft a lot more shallow. He can now come through and watch this hand now as it come in. It's a lot less active, so it doesn't need to be on the way through. But most notably, aside from the hand, I think if we look at the the club face now relative to his spine, it's a lot better. So what's this going to allow him to do? I feel it's going to let him a lot more consistency. Um, a lot more hopefully tournament wins uh, be up at the top more often I mean obviously he's a really good player so I think with that style he's changed I love it I think it'll be a lot easier on the body with uh, the swing he's got the setup and everything will really really help so I think it's pretty cool just to see the changes that he's made 